I've completed my 30 days of 100 push-ups per day. And during that time, I've done over 3,000 push-ups and hundreds and hundreds of V-ups. And if you've been watching the videos, you've seen me cycle, swim, and ride through these push-ups. In fact, during that time, I've cycled 496 miles, climbing almost 15,000 feet of elevation on those rides. I've run 23.3 miles, and I've swam 3.4 miles. On April 1st, I weighed 219.2 pounds. And on May 1st, I weighed 212.8. Now, during, during the week before, I got down to 209, so my weight's been fluctuating a little bit. In the beginning, my BMI was 30.7, which is considered obese, and now it's 29.8, which is probably still obese, but getting better. And uh, my body fat on April 1st was 30%. Now it's 18.1%. So my body's really going through a conversion. You've heard how you can turn fat into muscle. Well, you don't really turn fat into muscle, but lean body mass replaces that fat as you lose it. In fact, my lean body weight went from 153.4 to 174.4, and my muscle mass went from 145.8 to 165.6. So even though I haven't lost a lot of weight, my body has really converted from a more fatty body to a little more muscular body. And I still got a long way to go. I got some hard work to do to get ready for my 6600 challenge in September. But I want to encourage other people to do the 30-day challenge. In fact, I challenge Bradley Bish out in Texas and Randy McCoy up in Oregon to do the 30-day 100 push-up challenge. And if you do it, I'll pay you $10 a day or $300 a month for the month each, and I'll donate that $600 to the ALS Foundation. In fact, it would be great if we can turn this into an ALS challenge the ALS 30 day 100 push up challenge. Wouldn't it be great to see more people get fit and be strong? I'm trying my best to lead an ultra life and I hope that you can too. If you missed the videos over the last 30 days, don't worry, you can find them on Facebook or on YouTube. Just search for myultralife.com and it wouldn't hurt if you liked, shared or subscribed. Share the fun.